joins another bridge E18 with 1187 meters in length to cover both riverbed and the land. This bridge is a wonderful example of engineering in this section. The Sardhan and Gambhir bridges on this route are other examples of the engineering feat. The Sardhan bridge again with slight curves is surrounded by small valleys and hillocks with a variety of scenic beauty. The length of this bridge is 620 meters. The Gambhir bridge is 77 meters high and is the highest rail bridge in this section and a sleepy village named Dwadhar besides a small bridge both the railway and road transport tunnels are seen coming closer to each other the northern railways has devised its own technique for better ride quality with reinforced concrete piers for all viaducts long welded tracks laid on heavier rails and ballastless tracks in tunnels with proper ventilation a land of grand ancient temples and beautiful palaces the starting point of the ju sbrl project jammu is a city where the past still has a living presence Raghunath Temple is a well-known holy shrine of the Hindus situated in Jammu city. This famous temple is dedicated to Lord Ram. Again, the Bahu Fort is another place of religious and cultural importance. Leg 1. This section of the line extends 25 kilometers from Udhampur to Katra and is constructed by Northern Railway Construction Organization. Though the major work on tunneling and bridges in this section was completed in 2007 only, but due to certain technical problems like soil conditions in Tunnel T23, there was a delay in completion of this section. In order to rectify these problems, international consultants were hired. And finally, this significant section of the project was completed in 2013. Udhampur, at a height of 